Okay, so I'm not sure if I'm live on Twitch. Twitch. Uh, Installed. Oh, yeah, now I'm live on both. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'll start over again. Okay. So, today uh, is the first day that Saskatchewan will remove the uh, natural gas on home heating. And I want to uh, look at what happens when the provincial government um, doesn't follow through on it doesn't follow federal legislation and just cancels a tax. So I'll start with, let me get the my article up. Yeah. Um, so I just transition to this. Yeah. So it says that um, this is a first article that I found. Premier Mo says it's unfortunate for Saskatchewan to break a federal emissions law. And this is uh, Global News by Jeremy Sims, uh, December 27th. Um, Saskatchewan Premier Mo, uh, and then I, I highlight some parts of the article, once said that a fundamental pillar of Canadian democracy is the rule of law. Uh, in an interview with the Canadian press, said that it's unfortunate that the province won't follow federal law by not remitting the Coleman levy to Ottawa starting January 1st. It's important to note that the a lot of people talk about the Coleman tax, but it's not really a Coleman tax. It's a levy and a rebate. Um, and then <coughs> I made a video uh, called Cutting, oh, maybe it's not that video, but I think it was uh, Conservatives Along About the Common Tax, which is actually lovely. Uh, according to um, the Supreme Court of Canada. And so I, ma I made uh, background videos um, related to this uh, decision. Um, but Justin Trudeau um, made a <clears throat> decision to remove uh, the Coleman levy from home heating uh, in Atlantic Canada related to uh, oil, which angled a lot of Western uh, provinces. Um, Saskatch Energy won't remit the federal common levy starting on January 1st. Uh, so that's the energy uh, provider. And then 
Scott Moore also said that the net zero energy grid won't be followed. Um, and then <coughs> the economy is built, ha has a lot more um, fossil fuel resources. Um, so they're less likely to um, they're more reliant than other provinces on uh, fossil fuels. And they haven't they haven't diversified the economy. Um, um so Scotch Energy might face fines and company executives could also get jail time. Uh, that's from this article. And then there was like a, a double standard um, uh, related to when rail lines were blocked uh, from indigenous land defenders. Um, And then he's expecting um, teachers to uh, follow the um, harmful legislation. Um, oh, I just thought about. Um, I should probably change. in the studio so because I I'm stream multi-streaming today so I didn't name the channel but I don't see I see chat settings chat. so hello uh, chat. Um, I don't see any um, anyone in the chat, but that's okay. Um, I'll open dashboard. I'll open my dashboard. Maybe I have to um I'm just labeling my video um so that other people can watch it. Oh Twitch studio okay. Um, yeah, I said open dashboard. Okay. Oh. Yes, I have it. Uh, okay, I guess that's a good enough title for now. Oh, why is it like... Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, transition. <clears throat> it's picking up whatever I uh, click. Um, so I'll, I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, um. So the, ne the next uh, article I'll transition Trudeau says it will ab absolutely not be for the carbon tax exemptions um, 
And this was uh, posted by Darren Majel on October 31st, 2023. Uh, and CBC uh, there will not be any exemptions after the carbon tax only Atlantic can provinces have signed up for the enhanced grant program uh, for uh, heat pumps That's, that's what I had highlighted there. Um. Oh, I might. Oh, shoot. I have to remember more. I have to do that when I am talking. So I want to go. Yeah, I think I, I'm just going to have to n name. Layout. Unless I can edit layout. Um. But it still gets the idea across that what I'm talking about. Um. I might have named it something else though, but. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah, so I have the actual legislation. Um, Greenhouse Gas Pollution Pricing Act. Oh, and can people hear me? Hopefully some, someone can hear me. I, I don't see my desktop audio going up and down, but I do uh, see my input um, working. Um, oh, why is it black? That, that should be... Okay, there it is. Yeah, I guess I'll start on table of content. Oh. Um, so why this is a big issue, uh, I wasn't it, oh, why the not collecting the common tax is a big issue is because the rebate, common levy is a big issue, is the rebate, uh, would be put at risk, and, uh, civil employees will be impacted. Um, and could be going to jail or fined. Uh, this has uh, this is because the Greenhouse Gas Pollution Act has a section offenses and punishment. I wasn't able to highlight anything in this. Um,
but the but some of the penalties um like five hundred thousand uh, dollars possibly a million dollars for a organization. So we're, we're talking large numbers. Um, so I have to go back. Um, To the previous page, uh, every person oh. uh, what I think I was able to. Oh, I don't think I was able to uh, highlight anything from the uh, Supreme Court of Canada ruling. Maybe I was. Okay, I was able to highlight some stuff, but I didn't get to it. Um. But I know that there was... Um, I know that there was, they, they ruled that it's not, it, the carbon levy is constitutional, um, and uh, so I am going to go on a break, I don't think I have my uh, a breaks slide uh, for OBS, but hopefully I I'm not going to be too long. I'm just going to go to the washroom, and I will be back.
Okay, I'm back. Um, let's see. Oh, that, that's just the debates. Yeah, uh, today is mostly just watching to see if anything happens uh, with the Coleman tax, uh, Coleman levy. Um, um, so there was a debate about uh, the Coleman uh, Tax Fairness for Families Amendment Act. Um, so I can link to some of those. <coughs> so the Saskatchewan uh, government uh, said that they, uh, uh, and this is, um, a minister from the Saskatchewan party says that they're opposed to the common tax. And they said it's a decision to uh, change the application of the common tax on home heating oil in United Canada, and they want to make uh, things more affordable, but they also know that there was a rebate attached to it. Then uh, a memo of the NDP uh, Mr. Love agreed agrees with the uh, the NDP um, for for the most part. Um, and then, let's see, I don't know if Mohawk is a member of the NDP. So they're saying that they uh, they can't, no one can sue them. Um, oh, and then there was like a list of all everything, all the other things that have been said about the bill in the legislature. Uh, this is the bill uh, that uh, people are concerned about. Um, 
And I'm just going to look at the chart. Okay. Oh. So I realized that I wasn't showing uh, the screen. Um, but you can get the, the hand sold uh, by going to the legislative uh, website and looking up um, the Common Tax Fairness for Families Amendment Act 2023, uh, and that's Bill Number 151. And then I'll look at the bill. <coughs> oh, so it's so, a manning is sa saska. S A S K Sask Energy Act. It's mainly in the Sask Energy Act. Um, so saying that the Crown will register as a distributor, so it's the Crown that is that might be charged under the Greenhouse Gas Pollution Pricing Act. Um, they're saying that they're going to be the sole distributor of marketable natural gas and non-marketable natural gas in Saskatchewan. So the, they're saying that directors of the corporation, officers of the corporation, employees of the corporation, agencies of the corporation, members of the corporation, thirds of the corporation, and other representatives of the corporation, and formal directors, officers, employees, agents, members, or other representatives of the corporation, all not uh, um, responsible for the uh, charges. So it's a short, short piece of legislation. Um, oh, that was a different one. I don't think this is related to what I was talking about. No. Okay, so now I'm on I'm just waiting for news uh, what happened what what happens today might be it's a holiday um Saskatch
I do have CBC on. Maybe Saskatchewan. Colgan Levy. So yeah, I'm just looking for news. I might uh, see if I can um, show one of my videos. Scene two. Oh, um, let's see. to download that. Uh, let's see. Um, no, I don't want that. Hello. So my, my, my name is No, maybe I can't do it that way. Um, might have to do. Windows capsule. I'll see if this this works. Um, Oh, 
hopefully that works. Um, Ribolt eight zero eight A and today I will be talking about the carbon tax and why I believe that uh, several oh, elements are incorrect in uh, challenging the uh, carbon tax and uh, weakening it, including the Liberals and the NDP at provincial governments, and possibly even the uh, federal government. Well, maybe it's not so, so first, I'm just seeing if it's showing. Hopefully, uh, people are able to uh, heal me. Okay, I'm trying a new um, um, OBS, but uh, I'll um, find out. So first I'll talk about the Ontario government oh, I don't know if I can uh, scroll when I watch this so but that's okay so the Ontario government is proposing a extension to the uh, gas ta gas tax cut of five point seven cents per liter, and I'll get to uh, what the government of Canada said about a uh, whole meeting. So the government of Ontario wants to extend a temporary tax cut to help drivers save money at the pumps until next summer. Uh, Doug Ford is saying that people are struggling with the cost of gas and groceries, high rents and mortgage. Um, and I'll get into why the carbon tax isn't a major contributor to all that. Um, and then Doug Ford also said that he's going to scrap the carbon tax and says that it would be $260. And yeah, so that's, the, and then there was also like questions about the, um, and 
land uh, specifically and um, add the dolls. So see if there's anyone in the chat. Let's see. Oh, can anyone hear me? Oh, uh, let's see. View. This is an this is an old video um, Stats. from a month ago. Stream, I'm live. Okay. Well. Yeah, so yeah, hopefully someone will know if will let me know. It says that the audio inputs all are going. But yeah, the the next item is oh I should have said what the article is. It's an article from CBC. Ontario extends 5.7 cent per litre gas tax to June 2024. Ford calls on feds to ditch the carbon tax. So the next article is Ford announces one year uh, extension to tax and to gas and fuel tax cut in Ontario. And this is from November 14th, 2022. So the estimates will be even greater. Um, it says Ontario is supposed to extend the cut to its gas and fuels tax for an additional year in response to the cost of living challenges faced facing residents, Premier Doug Ford has announced. Um, it was supposed to expire on December 31st, 2023. Well, let me see. It said until, like, May. So let's see, December, January, January, February, March, April, May, and June. So so right now it's being extended for six months, and this is it's being extended for a year. So we'd have to uh, cut cut the estimate in half. To be fair. Um, extending the tax cut is expected to reduce provincial revenues by $1.2 billion on top of the $645 million cost of the full six months of the program. So, that, so it's multiple billion dollars of money not being invested into health care, and remember, the government has a shortage of nurses as well, and uh, could have settled the um, settled with nurses as well as teachers very easily, as well as implemented uh, carbon saving measures instead of and like increased investments into transportation, to reduce fuel cost. Um, uh, let's see. And then, yeah, this article from the Golden Mail is saying that hospitals 
or overflowing with patients in the ICU. There's been criticisms of um, underspending in healthcare. And uh, the Financial Accountability Office said that the government had $40 billion shortfall in spending in key programs over the next uh, six years. And then there was a deficit uh, spending. Uh, I know conservatives are uh, keen on getting the deficit under control. Um, but the government isn't really spending money that Ontarians need. Um, and then, oh, I'll see. Oh, here's one. Uh, so, uh, thank you for chatting, uh, Green. Auto Mac um, promotion. Oh, uh, yeah, thank you for the offer. Um, I'm not really uh, interested uh, in uh, buying anything at the moment. Uh, let's see. Chat settings. So what icons? Mm. Oh, here it is. Uh, time out. Oh, I deleted. Yes. Yeah, for 600 seconds. Um, I'm not someone that likes uh, spam. And... What was that? Yeah, I was just going to say... Oh, I'll switch to... Um, scenes. Yeah, so I was just going to say that... Um, <coughs> Yeah, I was just going to say that um, the Bank of Canada said that inflation resulting from the carbon levy or tax is 0.15% per year. And if, it, and if the tax was eliminated, it would only result in 0.6%. Uh, and for one time, and inflation is, uh, let me see, what is inflation in Canada? I know it's like a lot higher than that. Um, Uh, inflation is 3.8% uh, updated October 17th, 2023. Uh, so inflation isn't going to uh, reduce um, inflation, make things cheaper uh, if the carbon tax was eliminated. And there's also a price to, there's also a price of inaction. So that that's also something to consider. Um, and if you're listening, please uh, feel free to chat. 
Um, I love them all, all trotting. So that's one area. Um, yeah, the government could have, uh, yeah, transportation, active transportation, health care, uh, but specifically in uh, environment. Um, they could have invested in climate adaptation. Uh, we know that those estimates that um, buildings are getting buildings are getting hollow. Um, well, the environment in Ontario is getting a lot hotter. Those more extreme heat events. And we need more uh, climate adaptation. In uh, the city of Peterborough and the surrounding areas uh, in 2022, last year there was a direct show that uh, wiped out a lot of the uh, power infrastructure. So investments into upgrading infrastructure emergency preparedness, those are all uh, <coughs> things that should be invested in. And because of tax breaks to fossil fuel uh, habits um, and uh, urban spoil policies, we continue to decline Decline. environmentally. Um, And socially, um, if we um, consider our climate, uh, people will die from extreme heat. The British Columbia, British Columbia, the heat dome event uh, from a couple of years ago, that's a prime example of inaction on climate change can you? Uh, and we, we have to prepare uh, for extreme uh, extreme heat, heat events um, extreme weather events because there's a human element to all of this. Uh, there's, also wild, there's also wildlife, and we should protect wildlife because they, they are beings that should be protected. Uh, and that's, uh, that might be uh, an entire uh, episode on its own. Um, And the um, the tax cuts um, in, enable people to not make adjustments to the transportation wh- where they can. I recognize that not everybody can make uh, adjustments and. Um, because of the design of a lot of uh, suburbs, uh, the design of um, infrastructural and jobs. Uh, and, but there could be targeted investments uh, to help people out uh, that, that need it uh, based on their level of income, for example. So, yeah, um, oh, uh, if I, I'm wondering if I click recording and streaming, if it will make a difference. Um, I'll figure that out. Hopefully, 
what I talked about was uh, captured, but if not, uh, I was talking about uh, how the Colbin tax. Uh, I'm am talking about the Colbin tax and how um, many of the provincial governments are incorrect. I started with the uh, gas tax on um, um, gasoline being the tax on gasoline being reduced by five point seven dollars and how the provincial government would lose billions of dollars and some of the areas where it could be invested um, and uh, potential impacts of not doing anything on climate uh, adaptation, including death uh, from extreme heat, uh, as experienced in uh, British Columbia. <coughs> um, and Yeah, so, oh, and then there was, like, lack of spending on health care, and uh, um, there could be uh, a deal reached with nurses to get more nurses. Uh, we know that there's a shortage of nursing, um, and that's not related to climate, but um, health care, education, they're, they're all important. Um, and so that's uh, on, on uh, the tax breaks. Um, um, yeah, I did make a video about Um, the um, I did make a video about the Colbin, not not Colbin. Um, about the home oil heating, so I can play that. Um, I might need to capture. Oh, um, let's see. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. So I wasn't. I didn't see any. And uh, new news, uh, it might be because today is a holiday, uh, potentially. I will quickly look uh, again. Um, um, oh, there is an article from the National Observable. Uh, by uh, oh, I'm trying to get this open. There's a lot of uh, pop ups. Um, 
No, it just it won't let me see the title of all the whole. Um, but the article is saying Saskatchewan Natural Gas Utility could face hefty fines for not remitting the carbon tax to the federal government, and the executives may face uh, some jail time. So we might we might know more uh, tomorrow. Uh, I think it's like nine o'clock in Saskatchewan. Um, if there's more developments, uh, I'll let you know. Uh, I like if there's like something major happening today, I might pop up back on do a live stream about it. Uh, hopefully hopefully I can uh, figure out what went wrong with YouTube. Um, I, th I think Twitch is, is working. Um, and yeah, I, I wish you a uh, happy new year and uh, I'm making radio content again. Uh, through the facilities of uh, Trent Radio. Uh, so I'll be um, back on the radio um, with different topics. Um, starting next week. Not this week, but next week. On Fridays at 3.30, I believe. Uh, through the f facilities of Trent Radio um, on uh, Environmental Soup. And I'll do my best to make make content online as well. Um, and I should mention uh, that when I said carbon tax, it's actually a carbon levy. Uh, there, there was a significant difference. Um, and people do, people do get rebates uh, from the carbon um, levy. Uh, it, it's not a significant contributor to uh, inflation. Inflation is happening globally, even in places without the carbon levy um, in place. Um, yeah, so I think I'll I'll end today. I I should have it set up to do multi-stream. Um, I I know how to do it. Uh, I I am new to OBS uh, platform, so I'm I'm learning as I I'm going. Uh, previously, I just used um, uh, the Twitch um, Twitch Studio, um, but I know I can I, I can receive more support by using uh, OBS because I know a lot lot of, lot more people use OBS. So. Um, so, um, and those videos, videos about OBS. Um, so that's what I'm using. And, oh yeah, my, uh, the first episode that I plan on making this, this year will be focused on, uh, the decision of City of Peterborough to and uh, not purchase an electric uh, vehicle, um, and 
that's the first video I plan on making, uh, unless something big happens between now and when I make the video. Um, and then uh, there's like likely going to be a all CMP investigation into the green belt uh, scandal. Uh, that report uh, could happen could be coming at any time. Um, in, in theory, um, I, I also recognize that it, it takes a lot, lot of time to investigate uh, a detailed uh, case. Um, and then, um, let's see. Yeah, I, I have moved to uh, Kingston, but I'll, I still watch uh, Peterborough Council. Uh, I'm still connected to the city of Peterborough. Um, and I'll cover some things that are happening in uh, Kingston uh, as well. Uh, but mostly, mostly like Ontario-wide. Uh, things like through the environmental industry. Um, I plan on making more... My goal is to make more videos um, on uh, what's happening in the environmental industry and keep everyone updated. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, other than that, I wish everyone uh, a happy new year and I'll see you on the next stream.